Hi and welcome to Robert's Country Cooking. Today I'm going to be making you guys a key lime pie. Um, it consists of two cans of sweet condensed milk. I'm going to put in a thing of cream cheese because I'm doing this for Douglas's mother today. Um, she's no longer with us, God bless her heart. Um, she would put a thing of cream cheese so he wanted me to do that. We're going to use a little bit of lime juice, a teaspoon of vanilla, three eggs, and a pie crust of course. Uh, so we're just going to get all these things combined here. Set these items right here aside. Um, so what I'm going to do, I guess I need this over here, don't I? I'm going to pull, i get this out of here. I'm going to um, get this open, the cream cheese. I'll put these up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to... Put the cream cheese in here. I'm gonna have to cut that open, okay. Used to, they used to be where they would, you know, come up and without you having to cut them up, but they still stuff so weird today. So let me buy it, let's sell it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this. And this is at room temperature, by the way. Messy. Just squeeze it in there. That's what I'm going to do. Squeeze this in there. Um, Doug told me the reason his mom done this is because it made it kind of thicker. Like, she liked it like that. But it was good because his mom would cook key lime pie and we'd have it eat by dinner was over. By the time dinner was up. That sounds horrible, doesn't it, guys? But that's the south. Okay, when you got that fit, you want to make sure to get your sweet condensed milk in there. Got to be too. It doesn't matter. If it, it doesn't matter if it's Eagles brand or Baker's Corner. I'm using Baker's Corner. I mean, sweet condensed is sweet condensed. Some people are. Like to use their thing, but I can't find but this. It's the time that is. So, that's what you got. Some of that turned the sugar down in there. I must have settled a lot. Get your second can. You do that. And then you want to take three eggs. You don't have to be whipped. Just throw them down in there. It's all the way. And take you a teaspoon of vanilla. This is Baker's. I know how much a teaspoon is. Right there. Take a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to take a bunch of lime juice and put in here. You need to put three-fourths of lime juice to make it less tart, or you can put a whole cup, and that will be extra tart. So I didn't have it three-fourths now, so that's all I'm putting in this today, which should be fine. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to put one drop of green food dye in this, and I'm gonna see what it makes it look like when it after we've get, gotten it mixed. Give it that green color, you know. Um, let's 
see. That should be cute. Okay. Put that over there. I like getting creative with my food. Let's see. I love being creative with my food. That's one thing you can't mess up is when you're cooking. And then just get all your goodies off your spatula. Throw that down in the mix. And we're going to blend that. Not blend it, excuse me. We're going to mix this over here. I'll say about two minutes to a minute. Yeah. 